Welcome to this installment of Capstan Ag's video series. I'm Sam Marks and today we will be showing you how to perform a software update on your Pinpoint 2 system. Today we're going to talk about how to properly update the software on your Pinpoint 2 CapView. Now here at Capstan we don't update software just to update software. We do it for valid reasons. One of which may be if there are bugs or errors in the software code or two, if we hear enough of a voice from our clientele that we decide a new software version is warranted. Let's get started. In order to perform a software update on your Pinpoint system, you will need the Capstan USB or any empty USB you have handy. You will also need the new version of software, either from your Capstan rep or from your dealer portal on the website. If you are an operator and would like your software to be updated, please contact your local dealer or Capstan rep. Once your USB is loaded with the current version of code, you can plug your USB into the back of the display. You will want to save the current working configuration. If you do not know how to complete this procedure, please see our video on how to save and load a configuration. A menu will appear on the screen with several options. You should see download maps, upload maps, save configuration, restore configuration, upload CapView software, upload PowerHub software, upload VCM software, and upload software to all VCMs. We are going to focus on these last four options shown. Notice on the upload PowerHub software line you see software 2.43 on the left and 2.43 on the right. The software located to the left is the version currently on your hardware and the software to the right is the updated version you will be installing. If these numbers match, you are preparing to reflash the same version of code onto the hardware. This should only be performed if advised by a Capstan Egg representative. The same process applies for the CapView and VCMs. Now that we know which software versions we will be installing, we can move forward. When installing software, it is critical that the process begins with the CapView software upgrade. Scroll to the CapView line on the menu and press the check button on the display. The lights on the display will flash for a few moments and the CapView will automatically power down. After pressing the power button, the CapView will power on. The splash screen will appear and you will see a progress bar advancing. The progress bar will remain on the screen. Do not wait for the progress bar to disappear as it will remain at 98% as you continue the software upgrade process. Scroll down to PowerHub Code, which is the second step in the software upload process. Press your check key and you will see a progress bar showing a completion status. Once complete, the menu will reappear. The display will not power down after PowerHub software is loaded. You can automatically move down to loading VCM software. There are two choices here. For simplicity, proceed with the All VCMs option. Note, if your system has both 9-channel and 15-channel VCMs, you will choose Update All VCMs for each version of hardware. Press your check and the progress bar will appear. Once this process is complete and the progress bar disappears, the USB host menu will appear. Once the process is complete and the progress bar disappears, the USB host menu will appear. Now that we've finished installing all of the software updates, we only have a few more steps left to do. Remember that configuration you saved just a little bit ago? We'll need that in just a minute. But first, to ensure that all of the updates were installed properly, we need to perform a factory reset. Press the System Setup key and find the Advanced Settings menu. Select Advanced System Setup and scroll to the bottom of this list to find the Factory Reset option and press the check button. After making this selection, confirm by pressing Yes and the system will power down after completing the reset. Next, we will be using the previously saved system configuration. 
Just as a reminder, if you are unaware of how to perform this process, please refer back to our How to Save and Load a Configuration video. Now you can repower the cap view by pressing the power button. The splash screen will appear and the progress bar will navigate across the screen. The cap view will indicate it has not been set up. Select OK so you will be able to next load your saved configuration. You have now successfully completed a software update. Thanks for learning with us today from everybody at Capstan Ag. For more information, contact our team at capstanag.com.